Um, sitting here in the synagogue of Copernium, um, actually underneath, <coughs> sorry, underneath, we have the synagogue of the first century AD. We are sitting in a synagogue of the fourth century AD, but it's just one above of the other. And you remember here, Jesus was preaching on Sabbath in a synagogue which we are sitting. Now, when you go in America to a Jewish synagogue, pe people sitting in the middle. But the original style of a synagogue is people sitting all the way around and facing each other. And you know the word in Hebrew for synagogue is Bet Knesset. It means house of gathering. You remember the Hebrew word Bet, it means house of something. Bet Lechem, house of bread. Okay. Bet, uh, Bet Knesset, house of gathering. So the synagogue was not only for praying, it's like house of gathering. And that's the reason the style in the beginning, people was, it's built like this, that people were sitting all the way around and facing each other. You know, today when you go into a synagogue in America, people see the back of you. Okay? But that's actually the original style, always seeing each other. The gate was built on a south, on a south wall on purpose. Because that's showing you, that's showing you the direction of Jerusalem. As the south wall is on purpose because that's the direction. Whenever, when people are praying, then they're facing Jerusalem. But if it's for gathering purpose, they just sit together in a synagogue, men, women together. When they were praying, it was a segregation. Women used to go to the second, to the second uh, floor, to the balcony. You can see from here, you see the little pillars. Up here, you see the little pillars. Yeah. Those pillars supporting the second floor. And the third floor was like a triangle. Okay, the third floor was like a triangle. You see the, Jeff? Uh, uh, yeah, Justin. we see more. Justin. You Come see the pillars, the little pillars. Uh -huh. Remember, it's all collapsed in an earthquake. And the second floor, those were supporting the second floor. Third one, it was like a triangle. Now, we call to this type of a structure a basilica structure. Okay, two rows of pillars dividing the courtyard to three different parts. And that's called basilica structure. It's a typical structure of those days, a basilica structure. And um, definitely compared to the size of the village, the synagogue, the synagogue was a huge building. Uh, just for you to remember, in general, uh, as long as a temple exists, not many synagogues. Synagogue exists from beginning of first century AD in a remote area from Jerusalem. As a common thing to every Jewish congregation of a ten people to have a synagogue started after the destruction of the temple. When the Jews cannot go anymore, they could not go anymore to Jerusalem <coughs> to sacrifice and to pray. And they started to develop more and more praying instead of sacrifice and started to build a synagogue as a very common thing. In Jesus' time, yeah, before the destruction of the temple, already synagogue exists, like, he, like here in Copernium, in a remote area from Jerusalem, in more like a big congregation. After the destruction of the temple, it became like a very common thing to every small community. <coughs> Um, we will go out from the gate, we'll sit down outside, actually we can have the reading here if you want, okay, we can go outside through the gate and there is a place to sit down and we'll have the reading over there. Valeria, okay, next to it you see also a little thing carved on the right side. You cannot see it, you are behind, you know, it's, it's right up here. Um, it's um, it's, it's a, a, you see, it looks like a banana or something, yeah? Uh, yeah. A li little thing carved, you know, looks like a banana shape. Uh -huh. This is actually, is horn. It's like a horn, horn. of the deer, yeah? It, you remember, with a horn, the Jews, yeah, with a horn, the Jews used to announce when Sabbath begin and Sabbath end. Okay, used to announce always with a shofar. And the little square on the left, 
that um, <laughs> little square on the left, they used to clean the altar after uh -huh. sacrifice, like incense shovel. You know, they used to clean after sacrifice. Another thing here, found here, you see an inscription with someone named Zebedee. Yeah, with someone named Zebedee. And, um, um, you can imagine when archaeologists excavating here and know the name Zebedee since the New Testament was written, and suddenly they found here an inscription by someone named Zebedee. Okay, so that's mean one of the main clan here okay. named Zebedee. It was not accidentally mentioned that some of the disciples have this name. Because probably if archaeologists already found an inscription by someone named Zebedee, maybe the cousin or grandfather or who knows of those mentioned in the New Testament, but it's make it very concrete. And that means that's one of the main clan, because it was a clan mentality, one of the main clan named Zebedee. Let's go a little how they used to produce olive oil in the past. Okay, some parts are missing, but even though it's a, it gives us a chance to see how they used to produce olive in the past olive oil. First of all, you see what is written here, olive press. How do, you, how do we say Veronica olive press in Hebrew? You all know, but you're not realized you know. How do we say olive press in Hebrew? Gatsemeni. Yeah, Gatsemeni is actually mean olive press. So now you see how they used to produce the oil. First step, you put the oil, the olives on, on this big stone. And then you, the first step, you crack the olives. The upper stone is connecting, the upper stone is connecting to a donkey by wood. And the donkey is walking around and crack the olives. And then you take the olives into a basket and you put one basket above of another basket on those two stones are similar, yeah? Those two stones are similar, don't be mistaken because of the pillar. The two stones are similar. Okay. Now, the pillar, the white pillar, okay, actually you press, but you press, okay, now it's vertical, but actually it used to be horizontal, and at the back of the stones they used to have some weight, and you see the grooves at the top, you see some grooves, they used to have some wood connecting to it, and you press, you bring it up like this, and the thing which actually pressed is the wood.